everyone in today's video i'm going to turn this lg phone into a portable gaming console but before we begin we have to say thank you to pcbway for sponsoring today's video unlock your innovation with pcbway your one-stop shop for pcb solutions at pcbway they have a dedicated team to turning your electronic dreams into reality with their top-notch PCB manufacturing and assembly services. Whether you're a hobbyist, engineer, or business professional, PCBWay offers unparalleled quality and reliability to support your projects from concept to completion. So I've got this LG phone, two of them, more exactly, but uh, this one has problem with the with the sliding mechanism, with the, the connection between the motherboard and the display, since it's only working if I keep it closed. If I open it, the image is gone. So this one we will attempt to turn into a portable gaming console in another video. So today we will focus on, on this one because um, this one has some buttons that are not working not all of them, some are working, some are not. And I want to turn this into a small gaming console that can play NES games since I found the NES emulator for Java. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to save the buttons like the, the arrow keys and some, some of the number keys. And I'm going to make only a D-pad and two buttons and two more buttons that will be start and select and all the other buttons will be canceled. So let's get started.
Also, I found a Game Boy, Game Boy Color emulator. But uh, the the screen the screen only works in uh, in portrait mode. So maybe with the other phone I can do a portrait emulator. But yeah. So, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.